X-Men, assemble. Or was it the... I don't remember. There's a My Little Pony comic. It's Moose Avengers. And what did it say? Congregate! Congregate! Congregate. <laughs> that Congregate. sounds so horrible. <laughs> right? I know. It's like, I don't think that's right. No, it's probably not. Hey, we're back from Dallas. We are less punchy than we were last week because we didn't have to be at con on Monday. Yes. So we got a whole day of rest and relaxation known as New Book Tuesday. So, not really relaxing, but it was cool because there's like a G in comic books for us to review today. So, we're doing faster reviews than normal and we've got some new people. So we're going to introduce ourselves from this side on. Who are you? I might be. How do we know you? I work here on Tuesdays and back yes. board. He totally does, and he's awesome at it. So there's Mikey. I'm Commander King. Everyone knows me. I'm Laura. You know me. Andrea. I come here all the time. Our yeah. Other... Andrea's one of our Facebook customers. Yes. She's here like five times a week. I work this on the road, so. Actually, you're probably here more like ten times a week, which is impressive because we're only open six days, so. At least twice a day. It's true. She likes the cafe. Yes. We all do. Yes. <laughs> All right, so there were a million number ones that came out today. So we're gonna do our reviews. Oh, oh we're all mixed up. All right, I'll go first, cause I can. All right, so first one I'm gonna review is Extinction Agenda. This is number one. This is part of the Secret Wars run, okay? If you read the Extinction, Extinction stuff before in the 90s, then it's gonna feel very familiar to you. This book is full of battling. Um, they've all got the mutant uh, disease. Uh, there's a big group of them that believes that Phoenix, paired with X, uh, with a Professor X, could actually heal them. But th these guys are all stuck uh, by themselves. And the real X Men say there's no way that they can help them. There's like a percentage of likelihood that they could. But you know, Hank McCoy has got it all crunched down in numbers and doesn't think it will help. So they all decided to get on a plane and jump into the general population with their cooties. So don't do this. That's dumb. Okay. So good. Start with this. What's next? I'm going to put this on the floor. It's still okay. Floor's clean. Floor's clean. All right. Midnighter. This is a DC book. Um, I've never read any Midnighter stuff before. This guy seems like a really awesome, super kicking bottom dude. Starts out with... Uh, Things getting stolen from the gardener. Gardener's got a bunch of really cool high tech things that melt people's brains and all kinds of, you know, science fiction y stuff. Um, it gets stolen. Uh, Midnighter goes on a date. Goes on a date again. Good for him. Yeah. He likes dudes. So, you know. Oh, uh, cool. that yep. kind of date. Whoa, hey, date. Don't judge. Yep. So, uh, yeah, it's a good book. I like that too. It kind of wraps up with them figuring out that uh, something about his past has been stolen along with the rest of the stuff from the gardener. Ooh. Ooh, intriguing. Airboy. Okay, not what you think this is. This is not for kids. There's full naked frontal nudity, both kinds of people, boys and girls. And, <laughs> both kinds of people. And you don't see Airboy in all this book until the last page, by the way. It is really, really about the people that are making the book. <laughs> But in the pretend way. I'm really assuming that the things that are depicted in this book don't actually happen when they're doing the creation of this book. If so, you are sick puppies. Sick, sick puppies that wrote this book. But yeah, this is great. This is an image book, and it feels like image. Oh, it says right there, rated M mature. Oh, yeah. On the back. Oh, yeah. On the back. Really fun art style, by the way, in this, too. should pick that up if you're a sicko. All right. <laughs> Archie, number 666. This is the end of the Archie line as we know it. The next time we see Archie will be the completely reimagined relaunch. Um, it kind of feels like the last episode of what was that one that was really lame that they just kind of went through so you could see all of, no, you could see all of the characters. Was it Seinfeld that was disappointing at the end? If Seinfeld was, and how oh, I, I met your mother. mother. Yeah. yeah, it kind of felt like that, where it was just like, here, we just want to have an excuse for going through all of the characters you've ever known and loved for Archie. But it does feel cool and nostalgic if you were ever part of that universe. Um, I grew up with Archie, so I'm interested to see where they're going with it. I hear it's completely different. So the next time we see him, it's going to be new stuff. I well, think that's all I read. I'm excited because it's Mark Wade and uh, Fiona Staples. 
Yeah, the Staples stuff? is doing all the artwork for the new Archie, and that really excites me. Yeah, it looks like a more realistic style. I've well, that's some, Fiona. She does, she does the artwork for Saga, if those if you're if you're wondering, which it's all very gorgeous and beautiful, and it's it's going to be really cool. So sweet. I think you're next because yes. the newbies don't know how to do this. So show that's them how it's done. So all right. So I'm going to go next. I'm going to jump around a little bit here. I have a couple things. First of all, Marvel. Years of Future Past. I thought this would be interesting because, you know, we all saw Days of Future Past, right? And, and Wolverine's buttocks. That's right. Just um, saying. You don't see Marvel. Wolverine's buttocks in this one. Sad. I know. Well, he's, I would say he's old, but he's old anyway. But Wolverine's in here, which is kind of weird because he's dead. Is Or is he still, I don't, you know what? Marvel. Speak. Right? Nobody dies. Anyway, so um, I have to admit I kind of skimmed over this one because uh, I was pressed for time and we had a ton of books and we didn't have a lot of time. So it's it's kind of like the second generation. The mutants have all been in prison. It's, it's a part of a Secret Wars tie-in, but really the only Secret wars -y thing that I saw was like at the very beginning of the first two pages, they were like, oh, hey, by the way, here's what's going on and everything else. Now, back to you, Bob. And um, But it's like... Kitty and um, Colossus are married, and they have a kid, and that's who you see on the cover here. This is not Kitty. This is Christina Pride. Oh. Chris Christine or Christina. Because Secret War things in Battle World. Right. Whatever that means. So, anyway, there's they're, they're, they're breaking free of all the mutant oppression. Senator Kelly is, still has his anti-mutant agenda, and they've had this plan that they've been hatching for the past 15 years to free the mutants and repopulate. And they keep saying, do you know what it takes to bring a species back from extinction? Whatever that means. And then they hint that Christina and um, Wolverine's son, it, they're, they're, they need to hang out. I guess. Sweet. Yeah, but there's a whole plan, and I found it, it, it had a very um, original Days of Future Past comic feel. Not the movie, the original comic. Um, and just kind of the way the characters talk to each other. It didn't feel like current Marvel stuff. So if you're feeling nostalgic, go for it. All right, next up, um, I have Broken World by Image. This is kind of trippy. It's the, there's an asteroid headed to Earth. And is it Image? No, I'm sorry, it's Boom. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is Broken World by Boom. This is Frank. Epic nerd fail. No, we love you, Boom. Fail flashing on the screen. I can see it now. Boom. We do really like Boom. Boom has a lot of good stuff. Anyway, um, there's an asteroid headed to Earth. We know it's coming. We know when it's coming. And so the government has gone through and decided who gets to evacuate Earth and who doesn't. And so the evacuations have started. And uh, the people that don't get selected for evacuation are not very happy about this because it's just they're just going to take off and we don't have room for everybody. So have fun with your death. So, <laughs> so but it but it starts out with three days left before the impact. And this this woman right here, um, she's got a history and you don't know what it is, but she has convinced her husband and son that everything's fine, there was just a glitch in the paperwork and I'm good to go, but she's got some sort of criminal record that she doesn't want them to know about. And as she's trying to get on the ship, and are they gonna find out, are they not? And there's a whole kind of drama with that, and she's got um, other people on Earth that are getting left behind, and there's this whole faction that's like, let's all kill ourselves and we don't have to deal with it. And um, it's, it's very, very political, I guess. It, it has a political feel, it has a very serious feel to it. So. If you're a thinker, if you're an analyzer, it gets into be human behavior a little bit. Good stuff. All of my books are very different this week. We got the nostalgia, we got the thinker, and then we have I Am Groot. This is a Marvel book. One thing you'll notice, yeah, this one got a lot of action because everybody was reading it because I couldn't it's stop. Awesome. I couldn't stop laughing. It's um, one thing you'll notice here, no Secret Wars tie-in. This has absolutely nothing to do with Secret Wars. So when you look at this book and you see Groot number one, and you're expecting to hear a lot of, I am Groot, and Rocker answering as if he understands what he's saying, that's all this book is. It's, it's so random. They just go from little situation to little situation, and they're trying to get to Earth, and there's a, there's a Superman spoof there. <laughs> The, the Cree show up, or the Skrulls, or whatever. I haven't read that one. Anyway, yeah, the Skrulls. 
they, they run into a ship of, of, of ship of scrolls and a ship full of chickens and it's just really and they get attacked by space sharks. space sharks and chickens it's awesome what else do you need <laughs> it's chickens are green yeah it's it's just really really random and hilarious brain candy just yeah a really lighthearted book if you just need something to chill out and palate cleanser as I like to call it so those are my books this week all right who wants to go next who's feeling it um, be brave sister I can get out of the way all go. right go let me I'll go last then okay good call, good call. what you got <laughs> the three books I got is um bizarro number one and Batmite and Batman Beyond that sounds all like DC very DC ish yeah, very I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey is Superman, by the way. Superboy, yeah. really, I think, isn't it? <laughs> you won't tell. You're more of a Connor Kent than a Clark Kent. Here, I'll hold your books so you can do them one at a time. More of a, more of a Superman. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> and a Superman. I know, lady. you're all man, lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Bizarro number one is pretty funny. It's more like if you read Mad Magazine, if you read those, and um, just it's it doesn't have a particular storyline. It's just random, and um, what I really love about it is um, they're going to um, Bizarro America, which is AKA Canada, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Bizarro wants to see the world, and he's with his best friend Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> And so he's trying to pick a radio station, and Jimmy's like, can you pick one already? And, but he goes through the songs that are popular now, like I Came In Like a Wrecking Ball, and like all those like um, like just songs that are popular nowadays. It's really funny if you just want to just read something just not too serious, because DC is really known for just being serious, but it's just really, really heartfelt, and it's really funny. There's no crude humor or anything in it. I recommend it for kids. Uh, the next one is Batmite, and it's Ray E for everybody. I'll show you. <laughs> Sorry. <Aww. laughs> and um, same thing like Bizarro, not, particu not a particular storyline. It's just straight up comedy. Um, Batmite, if you know who he is, he's Batman's number one fan. So he goes through dimension, dimension, talking to Earth X Batman, New 52 Batman, Earth 1, Earth 0, all those. So he's just messing with Batman. And so the, this court finally catches Batmite because it's illegal to do that. So they sentence him to the most born Earth, which is Earth Zero, which is the old Golden Comics Batman. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just trying to mess with Batman. He's trying to upgrade his armor, and Batman's not having it. And <laughs> I recommend reading it. It's really funny. On a serious note, yeah, Batman Beyond. This ain't this ain't this ain't your daddy's Batman Beyond. This is a this is a new Batman. <laughs> and what I mean by this, it's not Terry McGinnis. That's all I'm gonna tell you. So I recommend you read it. Really suspenseful. Um, getting past the art, I always say like, what doesn't make up in art makes up in story. And make this is a really good story. I recommend you read it. Not awesome. Terry McGinnis. Not Terry McGinnis. Do we do we get to find out who it is? Yep, at the end of the issue. This is Dan Jurgens. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Ooh, okay. Awesome sauce. Well, now I want to read it. Okay, Andrea, you're up. Okay, let's see which one I want to do first. Okay, Amazing Spider Man uh, Renewing Your Vows. It's really good. I recommend it. It's not really for kids, but they could read it. It's more of the Bat. That's uh, the Bat. <laughs> you gotta okay. say Batman. The bad guys pretty much take over, and Peter Parker has a kid. Oh. You know, and he's married. While, they, while they're taking over, or he already has one? He already has one okay. while they're taking over. Um, I don't want to spoil it, mm -hmm. but if you like Spider-Man, the Avengers are in it. Um, a lot of Marvel superheroes are in it. Venom is in it. If you like all that, I would read it. It's good. I liked it. And I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan, and I liked it. So. Yeah, it wasn't. Also a Secret Wars title, by the way. Oh, yes. Okay, and the second one is Giant Size Little Marvel A versus X. Avengers versus oh, A. Yeah. A versus X. It is also a Secret Wars, 
but it has nothing to do with it, I believe. Um, if I could explain this, it's very colorful. Your kid, I want to say it kind of reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls, but not girly. I don't know, it's, I'll just well, show Powerpuff you. Powerpuff Girls really aren't that girly. Yeah, well, no, they are, just, they're not. let me just show you a page. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's very colorful, so, and it's pretty much the Avengers versus X-Men as toddlers. It looks oh. like Scotty Young. Is it Scotty Young? Scotty Young. He does a lot of really good covers. It doesn't say. So. Top secrets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn you. Cover, cover, Scotty Young. I don't know. It is Scotty Words Young. Words and art, Scotty Young. Yes, it's all, it's all Scotty it's Young. It's all Scotty. Woo! Yes. Which means Robert loves it. No. Makes it stick in his craw. I don't know what he doesn't like about that. He hasn't got on that Scotty Young Kool Aid yet. No. <laughs> Did anyone read these books? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to mention them because there's a bunch of number ones you need to know about them. Armor Wars. This is a cool Scotty cover. This is I'm number one. Did you read I, it? Yes. Just a quick um, synopsis. Is this, is this the one? This one's kind of strange. You would think it would be this. This is just a variant. It's a that's, variant. That's the, it looks like a Scotty Young variant. It's a Scotty Young variant. Um, it's a Secret Wars. It might go with it. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's, it's got the Secret Wars thing down there. Um, It's very... Different. It's. He said, like, Spider Man has armor. Yeah, it's like a Spider Man has an Iron Man uh, um, armor, but it's not Peter Parker, it's a different person. And Iron Man and Tony Stark is a Baron. So it's, he like owns land. It's really weird, but it's a good weird. So I recommend it. It's, okay. it's actually really good. Yeah. Kind of threw me off, but. Different take on Marvel characters? Yes. You have to read it a couple times. To understand Fresh one. Got it. Yeah. Right, Future and Perfect, also Secret Wars. Something really cool happens in the last page and someone shows up. You will want to see. No, you okay, can't. Go ahead. And DC Comics Omega Men. I haven't read any DC Comics Omega anything, so I'm not really sure. Do you know anything about Omega Men? Mm -hmm. No, we don't know anything, but it has a really cool cover. And this is by King, Tom King Writing. Barnaby Bagenda art, and it looks really beautiful. It's like kind of a uh, watercolor style. I think that's a whole new thing. It might be a whole new thing. I should have read this one then. This is a Team Plus, by the way, if you want to have something for you adult. Yeah, just so you know, in this one, I just skimmed through it, mm -hmm. so I can talk about it now. Yes. Um, Odin with his eye patch, and really old Hulk is really cool, and yeah. it's got this awesome ad for Avengers sunscreen that you should go out and buy right now. And you need all these the DC books because it has Nick Lachey Twix ads in them. So yeah, because you know they have commercial and comics now. <laughs> Why not? This is the left Lachey and the right Lachey. Because <laughs> <laughs> the left Twix and the right Twix. Jessica Simpson should have got the right Lachey. <laughs> <laughs> oh burn! What? All right, cool new merch. See these two colors of little tentacle kitty. Yellow, orange. That's all that exists in the Tentacle Kitty universe right now. Tentacle Kitty sold out. We got this, and then it's done for three months. So if you want little kitties, come and get them, because that's it. There's nothing coming for three months except for July, when we get the big size purple, blue, calico, and black. I'm excited for the but purple. But they're going to be the expensive versions. They're the 30 buck ones, and these are the $10 ones. Don't say we didn't tell you. Here, spoiler alert, there's a dinosaur on the floor. That's going to be in Jurassic World. You've probably already seen all the trailers. They ruined it a long time ago. That's what it looks like. Gets a T-Rex with long arms and he's white. What? What? Racist. No, I'm not racist. <laughs> and! <laughs> Mikey likes to call everybody racist. That's right, it's okay. Um, so you got these cool boxes by Boxes in Action. Those are two new styles. Oh, we got the Iron Man ones. Yay! We did. Uh, Iron Man, I've got a bunch of. You're safe for a little while. They tend to run out of these styles really quickly, so don't wait too long. The Wolverine one, they just made these cool new inserts. So there's these slashes in there. You can buy these to go in them, and then they peek out, or you can just buy them by themselves. They're a whole buck fifty, so don't worry about that. The boxes are eight ninety nine. We have Dancing Groot. This is the one that's solar powered, so you can do boogie in the sun. Um, they're not the creepy ones that were. I don't know, they're like $35 ones. These are only 14 bucks. 
And, and they're solar powered. Yay yeah. efficiency. And the Incredible Hulk, uh, Marvel Select, you know how fast that stuff goes, disappears overnight. Hulkamania. I'm surprised that's not in my house already. Well, I don't think your husband saw them when he came in. Look at his Red Hulk there, and I didn't get any Red Hulk. Oh! Oh, it says be on the lookout. Oh, yeah, never oh, mind. Crisis. We should have those. Uh, everyone has been asking me about the uh, Hulk Buster Marvel Select. It's a put together part one. So. Oh, you know what? I saw all kinds of advertisements right here. Yeah. Okay. So you're on, gonna on have the back of all, the Marvel all those dudes to go make that dude. So stop asking me for this dude. I can't get you that dude. You're gonna have to get all the other dudes to make that dude. You better find some scalpers. Yeah. Well, we can get all those little dudes, but you're gonna have to buy all That's those really dudes cool. to make the one big dude. It's worth the money. It is, of course. I want the big dude. Do big, you want? Big dudes See, are cool. All right, Alex, come around here for a second. Come around here for a second. <laughs> I want you to meet our camera man. He's adorable. Come on. Straight up. Come on. You're messing it up. Come on. Just come a wave. Just stick your head in the middle. Just turn around. That's Alex. Hi. He's our cameraman. So when we talk to somebody behind the camera, you're like, who are they talking to? We're talking to my adorable son. So that's Alex. Anything else? I think I'm good. Um, I think cool. Well. So if you ever want to be sitting with us, you see how easy it is. You don't have a have like an educational... Wait, Andrea, did you know before you came in tonight that you were going to be doing this? No, I did not. We, we said, people all the time. Andrea, come. <laughs> so and that's a review. And I was like, ooh, comic. Mm. There no, <laughs> there's no bad reading. Oh, plus, you also get to read the book. And there's the two that. you're allowed to read the book. So yeah. you can't take them home with you because no. we cannot let you have them. But you can read them while you're here. And I found two I'm putting in my box. Yep. So there you have it. Found it yet. We're going to go home and go to bed now. Yay, bye. Bye.